Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So the AN Gen Alpha has just dropped into the Flutterflow community. I'm fortunate enough to be on the invitation list. So I'm going to give it a whirl today. I've got some examples. I'm going to chuck at it. So let's see what it produces. So I've logged into Flutterflow, I've created a brand new project and up the top here, there's a new button that's appeared called AI generated page. So I'm just gonna click on that and up pops the new prompt. So what I'm gonna do in this first example is I'm gonna actually carry out the same example that they've actually been promoting on their social media. So let's paste that into the box now. So here we go, I'm just gonna paste it in here. Design a page for a space photo rating app where users can view pictures taken by other people. Include a short description. That's the one that they've been pushing out. Let's give it a whirl. So I'm just gonna hit enter. Okay, so it's doing its thing, generating the page. Let's see what it produces. Let's see if it matches what they've actually been put out on their social media. Okay, so there's the example that's produced for me. Um, I don't think it quite matches the same style as the one on their social media. So we've just got what looks like a typical kind of news feed here. Um, there's some different color choices here that you can choose. Uh, it doesn't really look like it's actually having much effect as I sort of click through. Hmm. Okay. Um, Let's just switch over to the dark theme. Okay, that looks a little bit nicer. And the colors do appear to be having some effect as I sort of click through. Okay, and so in here you can click on the little code option there, the view code. Let's have a look here. Showed you some code. So of course you could take this code now and you can copy and paste that into your Flutter application if you're not using Flutterflow. Okay, so that is that example. Okay, not quite the sample that I'm seeing on social media, but let's um let's just insert that page anyway. Let's hit create page. And there we go. So as you would expect it to be in Flutterflow. Okay, so let's try another example. So let's click on the AI generated page. Design a page for an e-commerce app where users can see a list of products, include a product image, product title, and a star rating guide. Okay, so something just slightly different, but maybe a very common use case. So let's hit enter now. So let's see how long this takes. I'll just notice up the top there, it still says three of three page insertions left. So it doesn't look like it's actually reducing the number based on the previous example. I just thought that I'd actually only be able to do this three times today. So it looks like it's taken probably about a minute to generate each page. Okay, so after about a minute and a half, that's um, generated um, this. Uh, okay, not particularly impressive, I must be honest with you. Uh, let's uh, choose a different theme, okay. Yeah, okay, uh, there's not really a lot I can really say about that one, So, uh, so let's try another example. So design a page which closely matches the look of Facebook, which displays social media posts, include a section for users to leave comments against each post. Please make this a dark, dark themed design. So there we go, something a little bit more challenging. So we're trying to copy something that already exists. So let's see what it comes up with. So it must be about two and a half minutes in now. So it's really trying to think about this particular page. Oh, okay, that's not a good start. Okay, so um, we could not, this could not be generated properly. So please try again. Okay, so let's um let's give it a whirl. So it must be about three minutes it took there. So let's um let's try again. Okay, so the page has just been completed, probably up at another two and a half minutes there. Um yeah, okay, we get something that perhaps does look a little bit like Facebook, um, or very in a very simplistic form. Um so that um just flicking through the colour palette here doesn't appear to have any effect on changing the scheme let's just try on here so again not a lot happening there okay so let's give this one a whirl design me a page which includes a form for users to enter in their name address and age make the page look vibrant and please use orange as the primary color on a dark blue background let's try this one okay so this one is a little bit more interesting so that took about a minute to generate so 
we look, it looks like it's actually undertaken what we've actually asked it to do. We do have a form here. Um, it has used orange, which is good, and it has got the dark blue background. So it's probably a good starter if you are looking to take this and kind of then shape that and design that to how you actually would want. Um, just move over to the dark mode here. So actually, the dark mode is looking a little bit better because we've actually got the white typeface there. So um, that's probably a much better example on some of the ones that we've thrown at it so far. That's pretty well much reflected what I've been, what I've actually asked it to do. So I'm going to be really, really simple in this one. I'm just going to say design me a page which looks like Instagram. Okay, so there is the example. I wouldn't say that that looks like Instagram. Uh, it's got some characteristics of Instagram, but other than that, it doesn't really look much else. So I hope you enjoyed this little video, just a quick look at AI Gen. Of course, please do like the video. Please do subscribe to my channel. Um, there's so much more from Flutterflow coming in the not too distant future. And, uh, and until the next one, we'll see you soon.